Time now for Inside Out as we welcome in SNY NBA insider Ian Begley. And Ian, I feel like I've already asked you this question a few times this season, but what sense are you picking up from your Nick contacts as far as a sense of relief that maybe this injury isn't as bad as originally thought? Yeah, that's the sense you get today is relief because coming out of the game last night, there was a hope that he had avoided a significant injury. And then today they're listing Brunson as questionable for that game tomorrow night. So that's a big sign. And the belief is that he has avoided significant injury, that he's going to be fine. Maybe he misses some time, game or two or three, but he's avoided anything structural. That was the big worry last night initially. So the Knicks dodging a big bullet there, and they should have Jalen Brunson back. If not uh, Tuesday night, then sometime later this week. Definitely a huge collective exhale from Knicks fans everywhere. So, Ian, now what are the latest updates on Julius Randle and OG Ananobi? Yeah, Randall continues to pace, uh, and as long as he's not having any setbacks here in these workouts, I think he should be back uh, sometime later this month, middle of the month, maybe. I think OG Ananobi, uh, as of earlier this week, or excuse me, late last week, I should say, was a little bit behind Randall. He had started shooting recently, and he hadn't been cleared for contact, though, and he wasn't doing everything that Randall had been doing in his workout, so maybe you could put Randall ahead of Ananobi in this race to get back onto the court for the Knicks, but both uh, players are on track to return now. It's just a matter of when. It's definitely going to be before the end of the month if there's no setbacks, but I would assume that both come back well earlier than that and then it's a matter of can you get your rhythm back if you're this Nick team going into April then going into the playoffs yeah the Knicks can certainly use some able bodies at this point as for the Nets Ben Simmons missed Monday's game with Memphis because of a nerve impingement in his lower back this is a recurring issue for Simmons so where does this leave the Nets yeah, this is Ben Simmons, and it's been this way for the last couple of seasons, Amen. And I think what they're going to try to do is just get Simmons back on the floor as much as they can between now and the end of the season. And the, the nerve is an issue there, but they think maybe there are ways that they can get it back on the court, get him comfortable. But the bigger thing is this offseason, what can you do to address it? Do you have to have back surgery? He did not have the surgery last offseason. He was optimistic. The Nets were optimistic that they had figured something out. But clearly, that's not the case. Another frustrating season for Simmons and the Nets. Simmons going into the final year of his contract next year. So big offseason for him and the health of his back and trying to figure things out uh, for not only his future with the Nets, but his NBA career in general. Definitely, unfortunately for him, a recurring theme. We'll have highlights of the Nets and Grizzlies later on in the show. Ian Begley, thanks for joining us here on Honda Sports Night.